Hello everybody, I'm back. So this week we have a question from a young lady who uh, wants to know how to get people to come out of their shell. She's been dating a girl who's a bit on the shy side in bed. And uh, the writer wants to, uh, the, the girl in question wants to be more adventuresome and, uh, but fears being awkward. She feels, has shyness issues. And uh, the writer says, I compliment her when she pushes herself, but how can I help her? Well, first, you're doing the right thing, simply by being uh, supportive and complimentary when you see that she is pushing herself to her limits. As I've said before, the thrill in sex is somewhere between staying so within your limits that nothing's exciting and so far out of your limits that you're panicked and terrified. And once you hit panic, you're done for the night. There's not much else you can do it. You stay in the boring zone, nothing's happening while we're having sex. So there's a medium space between just exciting enough to be challenging, but not so exciting you're going to freak out. And the person in question has to want to go there herself. Um, and I recommend a couple of things. First, there are a couple of books you can find for her. One is by Carol Queen. Get the, the uh, shiny thing out here. Eee, very shiny. Exhibitionism for the Shy by Carol Queen. I know, very reflective, huh? Exhibitionism for the Shy by Carol Queen is a great book for shy people and recovering shy people, of which I am one. Fabulous. You can get this for her and just... Tell her to go read it and, and do the exercises. Um, and you'll be waiting there right for her when she gets back and, and, and ready to, to go into it. Um, also, um, a really great book, harder to find, but you should be able to find it on Amazon by Annie Sprinkle. Dr. Sprinkle's Spectacular Sex. This is a great book for solos and couples. It's Dr. Annie Sprinkle. You cannot go wrong with her advice. And it's just... Um, it's just a great book. It has worksheets in it, and it's just fantastic. So both of these books, Exhibitionism for the Shy and Dr. Sprinkle's Spectacular Sex, are two really good books and good resources for your friend and you as well. You can also talk more about this when you're not just getting ready to have sex and getting into the zone and just ask her more about what her triggers are, what seems to be holding her back. Is it mental? Is it something ex she experienced a long time ago? If she's had negative experiences, she might try some counseling or doing personal work on her own with journals and peer counseling. Um, a drink. A un, uno, one drink might help a little bit to knock this off and to wake up the back. Anything more than that, um, you are talking past the sales, the saying goes, and it's not going to be so much um, help. You don't want a drunk person or even a tipsy person, but you want someone who's feeling a little relaxed. Um, so she can actually have the experience of, oh, this is how relaxed feels. This is how my not, my shutting down my internal critic feels. Again, you don't want her snockered because then to just watch TV instead, but you would like her to relax already. Um, and I'm not above using a little bit of help to to get somebody relaxed. I don't recommend you know uh, psychotropic drugs like Xanax or or Valium. That's a bit a bit much. But you know a drink, please. Unless your uh, unless your girlfriend's sober, I don't see the harm in that. Um, and a lot of flirting and kissing and just taking it slow. If you're more experienced than she is, if you're more comfortable with yourself than she is, and it behooves you to make her feel safe enough to come and join you there. Obviously, and I think you know this already, um, any kind of judgment coming from you or impatience or anything like that is just going to shut her down even more. So you have to truly find a place or a way to be truly supportive of her and truly supportive of uh her journey and where she finds herself and accepting of where she's at. At the same time, encouraging her to come over and join you. Come on, come on, it's fun over here, hey. Patience, repetition, doing it again. The books will absolutely help, if nothing more than to just start the conversation. She can point to something in the book and goes, wow, that's sexy, or wow, that's exactly how I feel, or wow, I thought I was the only one who had this experience. And so knowing that she's not alone, that will help. The books are not expensive, and they are, again, available either from your local independent bookstore, which I prefer, or, of course, online. I'm at that giant uh, everything seller uh, that we all know and love so well. Pardon me. Oh, golly, pardon me. 
So there you have it. Um, you're doing the right thing already by being encouraging and complimentary. Um, and, you know, with this kind of thing, there's, it's really baby steps. Um, you know, she can accept 10 more seconds of pleasure before she shuts down. She can accept 20 more seconds of pleasure before she shuts down. She can accept a minute of pleasure before her brain kicks in and goes, what are you doing? So that is uh, how we work here, two steps forward and one step back. Because as you know, negative conditioning is really, really strong powerful and very hard to let go of but you can help her by being a positive experience in her life which I think rocks out so you just have at it my dear and uh, party on this has been Tuesdays with Nina I'm Nina Hartley and please send me your questions to Tuesdays with Nina at gmail.com and the fabulous Miss Victoria will send them on to me until next week have fun <laughs>